We Love Facts presents Eight Things You Don't Know the Purpose of. Winglets. Have you ever wondered why some planes have pointy bits at the end of the wings? What you see are winglets, and they have essentially become standard equipment on all new airliners. Winglets allow the wings to be more efficient at creating lift, which means planes require less power from the engine. That results in greater fuel economy, lower CO2 emissions, and lower costs per airline. Brass and Copper Handle You may have heard that doorknob handles are big germ carriers. With so many people handling them all day long, it isn't hard to see how germs from one person's hand could end up on another's by way of a doorknob. For this reason, manufacturers often use brass and copper handles because it prevents frequently touched surfaces from serving as reservoirs for the spread of pathogenic microbes. The surfaces of copper and its alloys, such as brass and bronze, are antimicrobial. They have an inherent ability to kill a wide range of harmful microbes within two hours or less and with a high degree of efficiency. So now you know, making door handles, taps, and light switches from copper could help defeat antibiotic-resistant superbugs. Golf Ball Dimples If you've ever looked at a golf ball, you've probably wondered, why are those dimples there? And what would happen if they weren't? Originally, golf balls were smooth, but golfers noticed that older balls that were beat up with nicks, bumps, and slices in the cover seemed to fly farther. At some point, an aerodynamicist must have looked at this problem and realized that the nicks and cuts were acting as turbulators, and in some situations, a turbulent boundary layer reduces drag. For this reason, dimples help the ball fly through the air because they help the ball lift. If a ball doesn't lift, it travels forward like a half-inflated balloon, subject to any and all outside interferences. Hole on spray lids. If you've ever carefully observed the lid of a spray can, you would see a tiny hole in its lid. In order to make sure that the lids don't pop off when spray cans are being transported over long distances with different atmospheric conditions, manufacturers put a hole on the top of the lid of spray can. As a result, the air trapped inside the lid gets a release vent, thus striking a pressure balance and keeping the lid in place. Brown Colored Glass Bottles Brewers started to use glass because it kept beer fresher longer. However, there was one serious issue. If the beer was left in the sun too long, brewers found the beer would smell and taste skunky. Literally, it smelled just how a skunk smells. Scientists discovered that ultraviolet rays from the sun break down the alpha acid in hops, which then reacts with the sulfur present in beer to form a chemical that is almost identical to the chemical that skunks use to spray predators. The solution was to tint the beer bottle to protect it from the UV rays. Similar to how sunglasses help protect your eyesight, the dark brown beer bottle helps protect the beer from going bad. Prescription Bottle Caps Medicine bottles are required to be child resistant. The whole push and turn thing is designed to be difficult for children to open so that they aren't able to get to the potentially dangerous medicine inside. When you flip over the cap and use it that way, there's no child resistance, which is handy for adults who would otherwise have trouble opening the caps, like people with arthritis, for example. Toothpick Tail Design Why the end of the toothpick is designed to be like this? Well, it has a very practical purpose. The end of the toothpick is made to snap off easily so we can make a handy little stand. By doing so, we keep the table clean and we don't have trouble to reuse the same toothpick again. Number 57 on Heinz Bottle. Of course, you may think they're just telling us how many products they have on the market, but you're wrong. So where did this number 57 come from? Heinz 57 is a shortened form of a historical advertising slogan, 57 varieties. Henry J. Heinz introduced this marketing slogan in 1896. He later claimed he was inspired by an advertisement he saw while riding an elevated train in New York City. Heinz said he chose five because it was his lucky number, and the number seven was his wife's lucky number. However, Heinz also said the number seven was selected specifically because of the psychological influence of that figure and of its enduring significance to people of all ages. Thanks for watching, and if you like it, don't forget to hit a subscribe button for more. Stay tuned for a new amazing video coming soon.